Well, Treaty has been the most successful um, single that we've uh, we've uh, been able to put out. Uh, the, the song itself reflects on a prime minister who um, said in 1988, made a statement at uh, Barunga in, in the middle of Arnhem Land, uh, saying that there shall be a treaty between Aboriginal Australia and White Australia. Um, and everyone said, yeah, 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 let's go for it. And uh, the, uh, the next few years, well, the, the following year, um, everyone thought that uh, it was going to happen, like, you know, like the process was processes of negotiation or whatever was going was gonna to occur, and it didn't. So uh, one day I, was, um, I invited Paul Keller to come up to Brand Branch, your homeland centre, and there we started to, I just started to float the idea to him and I asked him for, for help in you know, writing a story about, or writing a song about treaty. And um, anyway, we, we started writing the song and um, got stuck, got bogged down, but kept, kept the momentum going. At that point in time, the band didn't have any music or anything like that, you know. And, uh, but we started to create something and in the end developed a, a, a feel for, for such a song. It, it happened in one, one rehearsal um, uh, period that we had up in Northern Territory in, in Darwin. That, uh, and Paul Kelly was there and he just happened to go like something in, um, you know, just the beginning of Treaty itself. Well, heard it on the radio, heard it, uh, I saw it on television because that's one of the lines that I floated to him. So he, so he started to put it and everyone got into it. When was the final? The final um, collaboration was with Peter Garrett and uh, Paul Kelly. Um, after we did it, we went uh, went through many of the rearrangements of the lyrics itself, you know, and the delivery and all that. But but uh, and that's the final product was that in the end, you know.